Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's the latest craze sweeping the Pennines. And I'll, I've got to be honest, I'd rather be sweeping the Pennines right now. You're supposed to have three weeks training for this. Ganada reports don't have that kind of money, so I'm afraid I'm just going to literally launch myself off this mountain. This is very possibly the late Tony Wilson for Ganada reports. Wish me luck. Hear it flapping. It's okay. If it stops flapping, I'm in trouble. Exactly. Just pull it in until it starts flapping again. One, two, three. Go. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> I'm flying! This is a physical high, a physical legal high. This is the most amazing feeling, better than sex. Whoa. Forward, forward, whoa. Whoa. Woo! Shit! <laughs> oh. There's a barbed wire fence. There's a barbed wire fence. No! Well, I'm battered, I'm bruised, I've done something rather unfortunate to my coccyx, I'm slightly upset, and I'm utterly elated. I'll definitely be doing it again. This is Tony Wilson, a shadow of his former self, for Granada Reports. Back to the studio. Okay, I'm sure I'll be in touch with him. So exciting, I'll look at him again. No problem. Okay, cheerio. You're uh, going to be seeing a lot more of that sort of thing in the film. Um, although that actually did happen. Obviously, it's symbolic. It works on both levels. Uh, I don't want to tell you too much. don't want to spoil the film. Uh, but I'll just say Icarus. Okay? If you know what I mean, great. If you don't, it doesn't matter. But you should probably read more. See, what are you complaining about? Yeah, he didn't have to deal with the consequences of... The consequences? He didn't have to contend with the possibility of death. Well, you're insured. How is that supposed to be of any comfort to me? Look, I, I realise the danger in Bob. Well, let me tell else. you, I'm not doing any more kamikaze stuff, ever. That's it. Hello, Tony. 
Hello. Hello. Oh, Alan. Hello, I've got the tickets. Alan, oh, Alan. Did you Alan. see the handwriting article? Oh, Jesus. Wasn't it brilliant? <laughs> we have people phoning in. There's no people phoning in. It's what, it's what, what the public wants. I know it's what the, the public, let me tell you, like public executions. I went to Cambridge University, Charles. I'm a serious, hello, look, fucking journalist living in one of the most important fucking times of human history. There's no need to swear. I mean it. Those cups can't play because we're not ready. So it's just a set of pistols. June the 4th, 1976, the Sex Pistols play Manchester for the very first time. There are only 42 people in the audience, but every single one of them is feeding on a power and energy and a magic. Inspired, they will go out and perform wondrous deeds. For instance, Howard Devoto at the front, Pete Shelley at the back, they organise this gig. They're way ahead of everyone in Manchester, they're already the Buzzcocks. Howard later sleeps with my wife. Behind me are Stiff Kittens, soon to become Warsaw, later to become Joy Division, finally to become New Order. Ginger Nut, Mick Hucknall. That's John the Postman, he's a postman. And that guy dancing at the front, that's Martin Hannett, the only bona fide genius in this story. Well, one of the only two bona fide geniuses in the story. He will later try to kill me. They sort of, uh, they go right up my crotch. Too tight for you, that's why. So they cut, they cut straight between my balls. You're not a regular shape, though, are you? Pardon? The jeans. What do you mean I'm not a regular shape? You've got big hips. <laughs> I've not got big hips. Yeah, you have. I have them. Look, Huge That's hips fucking ridiculous. I've not got Lindsay. I've not got big hips. Stop You're not saying big that. Hips me, That's you? fucking bullshit. I've not got big hips. It's really good stuff, isn't it? Yeah, this is good. Where, 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 where'd you get it from? A mate of mine bought it back from his holidays. What Caribbean? Real. The Sun Centre in Real. Right. Right. 
I would describe it as history. History? How could it be history? There are only 42 people at the gig. Well, what difference does that make? How many people were at the Last Supper? Uh, 12. Well, uh, I 13, saw including it. Jesus. You're covered. Yeah. But it's not historically documented. In other words, not many. How many people were at the murder of Julius Caesar? No, Tony, you tell me. Five. So, shut up then. I'm Tony Wilson. Here we are, as we are, so it goes. On tonight's show, I'll be talking to Alice Cooper, live at the Apollo. Apparently, he'll be hanging a dwarf live on stage. But first, two minutes of the most important music since Elvis walked into the Sun Studios in Memphis, The Sex Pistols, and Anarchy in the UK. In 1976, two or three people controlled all the music on television, and they didn't like punk. So, for a year, if you wanted to see the most exciting bands in the world, they were on a regional show coming out of Manchester. My show. This guy is fantastic. Listen to that voice. Listen to him. Bro. It's a bit homo, though, doesn't he, with that? Oh, man, that's part of it. The big handlebar, drop handle moustache. Oh, I don't know about that. Guy with the handlebar moustache, that is Carl Denver. This is Sean Ryder, and that one is Paul. Later, they become the Happy Mondays and actually get Carl Denver to sing with them. We'll be hearing more from the Happy Mondays later. But right now, I'm getting a little bit tired of just putting bands on television, so I'm about to open a live music venue. It's, uh, it's a bit of a dump, isn't it? It's not Las Vegas, is it? Come around to the left, Tony. It's a bit shy it's everywhere. Yeah, well, it's it's disgusting. This is it's urban. Horrible. It's urban. It's exciting. It's exactly the place we should be. You don't think those, those kids will nick the car, do you? They're not going to nick the car. No. Are you sure? Quite the reason we're here, Elise. Margaret? Because of the explosion of music with New Wave, there's lots of exciting bands happening, and I just think that culturally Manchester's slightly lagging behind. Yeah, if you want to get into a nightclub, you've got to dress like a hairdresser. Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel a dresser. And that's great. That's great, but some people aren't, and they've got a right to dance and party. I'm Tony. Hi. Nice to meet you. Sorry, this is Tony. Tony doesn't believe in uh, television. I was just saying, because it's funny, because um, Tony's on the telly. You know what I call television? The idiot box. The idiot box. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of rubbish on. Right, we split the door 60-40 to me. The band, they get a creative meal. You can have Fridays. Okay. Right? Look round while I do the till. Okay, thank you. Yes. Stinks in here. Um, there's a problem. You, you never told me he's called Tony. Who? What's up? To Tony. There's two Tonys. Yeah. 
Well, that, that, that straight away, that's a, that's... Can you not see how that's a potential problem? You've got two people, he's in charge of the club, I'm supposed to be in charge of whatever it is we're doing. There's two Tonys on equal pegging. It's a confrontation. You know, who's Tony number one, who's Tony number two? There's going to have to be some sort of differentiation. Yeah, but he's not called Tony, is he? He's called Tony. You know, Don Tony. It's his fucking surname, Tony. Is it? Yeah. Oh. It's a bit grubby. Yeah, I know it's grubby, but we can get it cleaned up for the nights we're in. That's worse. What is worse, Tony? Well, sort of half on about this, but that, he, that makes him Mr. Tony, and I'm just playing Tony. Yeah, what's wrong with that, Tony? Well, that's, that's a hierarchy there, straight away. Mr. You know, Mr. Tony is more important than Tony. Hello, Mr. Tony. Yes, Mr. No, Mr. And just plain old Tony. Tony, me mate. Tony. You know, I've got to have some sort of credibility. Why don't you just call him Don? How about that? See if he goes for that. Call him Don. Don. What kind of music you got me bringing in? Um, sort of, uh, new wave. Kind of indie. Indian? No, indie. Don't hear that. Ska. I don't like that ska. Okay. Don't hear that. An ocean. I'll leave you with it. It's heavy metal. Get one of them bands in here. They drink like the fucking Queen Mother, them men. Right. I'll leave you with that. Nice car, Don. She's thirsty. See you, Don. I think the name thing went OK. You heard you that time. I was going to be a Don. I was going to be a Virgil till my mum lost a bottle at the last minute. No, it means it was going to be a Don. I went to Cambridge. What about a name for the club? Call it Factory. I like that. The Andy Warhol. A bit Ellis Lowry. No, I just saw a sign on the wall that said Factory Closing. And I thought, we can have one going Factory Opening. And I'll reverse the trend. Now, when you come down to me, can you, can you just make sure you just get a glimpse of my boot? Yeah. Just, if, it's on, if it's on screen, I get closed in the lines. Yeah. yeah. That is the clash. This was, so it goes. And as it goes, so it went. It's all over. If you want to hear good music from now on, you're going to have to get off the couch and go down to the factory night at the Russell Club every Friday. Go forth and preach the gospel. Good night. Quite a few. If they, if they, yeah. if they start letting them in, then that's yeah. a good crowd. Fuck you. Sorry, Jenna. Oh, fuck you. Why does he let people talk to him like that? He doesn't care what they say, as long as they're talking about it. You know that, Alan. Someone who likes me, huh? I love you. Right. You send this to me, please. Yeah, what's your name? John. John. Hello, Mark. Hi, Tony. Hello. Yeah. Tony, right, okay. I really miss your program, Mark. So I thought to get it back into Helene. Oh, he don't want it to come back. He wants it to be gone forever so it can become a legend, don't he? There is a man with a grasp of semiotics. There's your answer, sweetheart. Can I get you half a lager? You can get me a pint. Right, OK. Right. Wilson, you fucking cunt! That's original. Your drink's coming. Is that a friend of yours? Yeah, he's our singer. Oh, he's neat. Hi, Tony Wilson. Please to meet you. Is he going to hit me? You're quite close to me there. Yeah, I know, but I want to be. Why? Because you're a cunt, mate. I know, I heard you the first time. Taking some time away from the places. Better stop him singing, Tony. It's avant on guard, you won't understand it. Very poor. I catch Very poor. I to it's provocative. Provocatively poor. Appallingly poor. Oh, you've heard it before. They're not calling you the new George Epstein, you know? It's Brian Epstein. How is George Epstein, Beatles manager. That's Brian Epstein, you George dickhead. Epstein. It's fucking Brian Epstein. Brian Martin. It's not Brian. George, George Brian Martin, Martin the producer, no. George Epstein, the... Uh, Come on, let's sit down. You're just fucking wrong. The introduction is not usually this long. I think the singer's in the toilet.
64 since you, we said, ain't we? Right, yeah, smash it. Great. Hang on, there's a phone. Get yourself a drink. Just come with me. Right, right. Come on. Call your Uncle Tony. Come on. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't do any code. Where are we going? That's just that I've got, sir. Uh, yeah. Let's have a nosh to yeah. seal the bag. I've eaten that, sorry. Oh, oh. we're not going to eat him, my friend. When the Don's hungry, the Don eats. Well, hey! Hello, Woo. girls. Your Uncle Don's here. Good. Come on. Right, Jump it, Tony. It, Don't be shy. Yeah, come, on. Just come on. All right. Come on, girls. <laughs> on your knees and eat. Careful. Um, where is it? Where's who, babe? Tony, I can't find him. I think he went out. Ah! I think he went outside with John. Do you mind if I just... Take it all oh, off. I'll... I think I'll just shy. poke it through the side. <laughs> no. That's, I think it's well, a bit that's, that's what I normally do. That's I think I'm it's a bit too Come on, Sonny, don't be shy. That's what you do at home. That's what I do at home, yes. <gasps> feel that? Just have a feel. Oh, that's nice, that, isn't it? Right. Oh, do you mind if I touch your tits while you're doing it, please? Mm -mm. Thank you. Mm. Come on, Sonny. Put that on your TV show. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, hey! It's not how it looks, love. Come in, love. It's what are you doing, looks. Tony? Come on in, love. <laughs> it's not how it looks. Join the right? party. Don't put me up to it. Come in. Do. Made me do it. <laughs> yeah. It's not how it hey, seems. Coming right? in, I'm coming in, love. You're coming in the fuck off. Leave, leave it. That's my wife. That's my wife. Tony. That's my wife. Listen, I, I, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Can you finish me on? Yeah. Yeah. Posters. Turn. You've got the posters. This is the fucking gig. Yeah, I know. Just took ages to get the right yellow. The gig's over. I know. That's fucking great, actually. Yeah, it's really nice. It's beautiful, but useless. And as William Morris once said, nothing useless can be truly beautiful. <laughs> no All right, Tom. Yeah. Heather, this is Tony Wilson. Hello. You see Lindsay? She went off with Howard. She, uh, she just caught me getting a blowjob off a uh, hooker in the back of a uh, van. Bye, gone, girl. Go find her. Car keys. In my bag. Thanks. Mm. Mm. I only got a blowjob. That's full penetration. <sighs> Too hard. See you, Tony. Right. <sighs> I definitely don't remember this happening. This is the real Howard Devoto. He and Lindsay insisted we made clear that this never happened. But I agree with John Ford. When you have to choose between the truth and the legend, print the legend. I thought the name of the band was Warsaw. Well, <clears throat> you can't have a band called Warsaw. You can't put it on a poster, can you? People think it was a holiday advert. Joy Division. Do you know what that is, Mr. Wilson? It's when the Nazis uh, picked out racially pure women and uh, had sex with them. Yeah, well, Joy Division, that's us, eh? Well, it's a very Nazi name. So? Yeah, but it's quite cheery as well. Yeah. yeah. Joy. So, yeah. Like a joy. Vision of joy or something. 
Joy division. I saw us all that together. One, two, three. Joy. Joy. <laughs> Look at that flat bottom valley. It wasn't always crazy between me and Lindsay. Most days, we were just another young couple who wanted all the things young couples want. Nice house, nice car, and a couple of kids. You don't want to walk, because it's just you and me. Are you like a little Tony and a little Lindsay walking around? No, it'd be a nightmare. I like to be okay. free. I like having time, okay. you right, know. The last, the last, last word I'll say on the subject, two words, body clock. OK? Body clock. The majors are the status quo, and we're not. We're the anarchists. It's going to be like a co-op. We're, we're all going to share in the process. We pay for all the costs and everything, and the rest of it is 50-50. 50 factory, 50% 50 goes to the artists. Alan's going to be head of business affairs. It's red lip, that. You smell it. Smell that. Smell that. I'm giving you total creative freedom, right? It's dead fucking simple. You don't like us, you fuck off. I don't like you, I fuck off. I'll write you a contract saying there's no contract. I'll write it in my own fucking blood. I'll do it, go on. I'll do it. He's not going to write his own blood, is he? Yeah. I'll do it. You write it. No, don't give him a dare. In the, wor in, in the words of the great prophet, I dares do out. Come on. Oh, he's done it, he's done it. Real blood. Real blood. I... How can you read that? I'm not oh, sure if that's a standard thing. What more do you want? He's just written a contract in his own blood. Martin! What are you doing? <coughs> Recording silence. You're recording silence? Well, now I'm recording Tony fucking Wilson. Um, we want you to produce a band for us. Who's us? Uh, Factory Records. Right, 50 quid an hour. Plus, I want to be a partner in the company. See ya. <coughs> Yeah. Stop, 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 stop that horrible fucking racket, please. What's wrong with it? Nothing was wrong with the drumming as such. It's just that, um... People have been playing like that for about 20,000 years, and quite frankly, I'm... It's boring the arse. So let's just try something a lot simpler. Faster, but slower. There's logic there, so... I know what you mean. Right, stop. We've got, we've got a rattle. We're gonna have to dismantle the whole fucking kit. You are? You what? What? How long's that gonna fucking take? I don't fucking know. As long as it takes. It's, uh, this still costing us fifty pounds an hour. We're still working, aren't we? What I'd like is to rebuild it on the roof. On the roof? Yeah, on the actual roof of the studio. It's bloody hell. I will know when to stop. Well, oh, don't worry about stopping. I'll send someone out when it's time to stop. What? 
You wear it very well, now play like a fucking musician. Fucking prick. Listen to it in the car. Oh, Sony, it'll sound rubbish in the car. I know, but we've got to see what it sounds like on a transistor radio. Sound like Bowie. It's good. You like Bowie? I hate fucking Bowie. In all the young dudes, he sings about how you should die when you're 25. Do you know how old he is? He's 30, 29. He's a liar. Look, it doesn't matter. A lot of great artists produce the best work when they're uh, older. You know, W.B. Yeats. I've never heard of him, mate. But Yeats is the greatest poet since Dante. If he'd have died when he was 25. I would have heard of him, Tony. Hang on, hang on. Listen to it. This is, this is great, sir. You listen to it. It's really great. It is. Yeah. It's very good. There's nothing else out there that sounds like it. That's the, that's the best thing about it. I like it. I do. I thought it's going to be Yeah? Joy Division were a great band, but they were Rob's band. I wanted a band of my own. A certain ratio had all the talent and energy of Joy Division, but better clothes. You look absolutely fantastic. You reckon? It's great. You look like the bloody Italy youth, man. Hey, you, you don't see I that think you look more like scouts. You've seen our legs. It's like fucking milk bottles. <laughs> I won't worry about it, although that, that reminds me, I must get some chicken drumsticks on the way home. Yeah. Uh, no, it's all right, I've got it covered. I've got it covered. Instant tan. Tan fastic. It's hedonism, it's shorts, it's, it's funk, it's tans. It's sexy. Ah, it's cold, man. <laughs> Yeah, they look good, don't they? Crap, though. Fucking shit. The worst one I had was a mate of mine had a band called uh, Barabbas. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Barabbas. Who do you want? Barabbas! Radio. today in the biggest demonstration of neo-fascists since the 30s. The Transport and General Workers' Union tighten their stranglehold on the nation's petrol supplies, bringing the country to a grinding halt. 
Thousands of motorists queue all day amid rumors of fuel rationing and a return to the three-day week. More chaos in the public services as mountains of rubbish fill London's West End and nurses bring the hospitals close to collapse. Now gravediggers in Liverpool refuse to bury the dead. Mouth's bleeding. Mm. Someone got a doctor. Just drop two skinheads. Mate. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? He's got mm. me fags. Mm. Oh, you fucking twat! Mm. He's fucking bleeding here. Can I need a cigarette. Where's mm. Rob? Mm. Can you get? A, can you get a fucking doctor? Oh, he's fucking bleeding mm. here. Wilson, how do you answer the charge that you're a fascist? What? Your banjo division, named after a group of women captured one of the SS for the purpose of breeding perfect Aryans. Isn't that sick? Have you never heard of situationism or postmodernism? We need to talk to him here. Do you know nothing about the free play of signs and signifiers? Yes, we've got a band called Joy Division. We've also got a band called Jeruti Column. I'm sure I don't need to point out the irony there. What the fuck's going on? We need a doctor. I don't know. What's wrong with it? Slit or something. Oi, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. I'll lay one on you. Be well. I've seen him do it. I'll get a doctor. I'll get a doctor. Calm down, man. Don't fucking tell me to calm down. You fucking calm down. Jesus. Fine. For fuck's sake. You all right there, Ian? Yeah, I'm fine, mate. Are you sure? I said I'm fine, Rob, yeah? Just shut up. All right, then. All right. Fair enough. Not even to tell you that we're going to tour America. Fuck off. Fuck off. I'm telling you now, straight up, we're going to tour America. Fuck off! Nice Fuck! Are you serious? Nice. I've just told you straight up, we're going to tour America. Yeah. Oh, Fucking hell, boys! Fucking shit! We're going to the US of A. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. I thought you'd like that, boys. Are we going to stay in, like, top-class hotels? Well, actually, you're in knocking shops and I'm in five-star hotels. <laughs> Suits really fine. I think we, we did better, mate. <laughs> yeah, I think I better rework that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! What? 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 Peter, what, I don't want to interrupt your flow. Go left. I am doing, obviously. No, you're all right. All right, all right. Why a duck? He just started, you know, uh, just by chance. And he just started, uh, well, he was, he was biting the ankles. Uh, but it, it didn't harm him. Not like if a dog did it, you know. Right, yeah. Extraordinary, extraordinary. Unbelievable. All right. Have a go. Can I, right, OK. What do I do, what do I say? Well, go left. And then do what? Just shout. Shout what? Go left. Oh, go, shout go left, right. Go left! Go left! See? That's remarkable. I've not quite got the command of the, uh... Whistle. Right. Not quite doing that well. Go, Stick... go left! Stick to what you're good at, I suppose, is the uh, response. Unless, of course, you're a duck, in which case you can branch out. Granada. He's got a spliff going. He's gonna come in. Nah. 
I can't. I've got to get back. Cheers. It's fantastic news about America. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really chuffed. I'm bored. You can stay with me for a little while. No, I've got to go. I'll catch him later. All right, I'll tell him you called. Uh, send you a postcard, yeah? Yeah, I do. That'd be great. Wish you were here. Debbie! is kaput and your girlfriend is gone when thine house they have sold that ends near if I nix aber wirklich nicht prost prost I was going to say, how is it relevant today? Sorry. And not just being a tourist, so... Can I just have a word? Yes? The office have just called. Right. Ian Curtis has died. What do, you, what do you mean? What do you mean? He's hanged himself. He was found at his home this morning. You're joking? No. Sorry. What? He's dead? What a stupid bloody bugger. Sorry about this, mate. So a friend of mine. Listen to Ian's music, and you know that he killed himself. Then you probably imagine some very dark, depressive figure, a prophet of urban decay and alienation. But I have some wonderful memories of him, such as the very last factory night at the Russell Club. <laughs>
Wilson. Tony, hi. I know this isn't a very good time or anything, but uh, I've actually made a tape of me singing Joy Division songs. If you're probably looking for a new singer don't at the hang, moment. Don't hang about uh, if you can play that to the rest of the band, right. I think they probably agree. One? I've been practicing yeah. the dance. They uh, won't let us in. No, I'll give that. I'll yeah, make sure you get He meant a lot to us. All right, mate. Thank you for coming. It's not really the time for autographs, but thanks for coming. Michael, yeah. Michael, what are you doing? I'm just, I'm not a journalist, I'm just, I'm mourning, I've got it. Well, you are going to write about it, though. Oh, I don't think I can. You, should, you must, you have to. Well, come in, come in. It's good, that, right? it's good that you're here. Right, right. It's good that you're here. How are you doing? Hello. Oh, right. All right, mate. I want you to write the book. Wow. The right person in the right place, you should do it. It's just so soon to my son. It's historic. It's historic. Come on, this is, this is where your book should start. Right. Where it should start. Right. Nice. I didn't realise you were out. Sorry. What are you doing? Right. Oh. Right. This is Ian's Tony Wilson. Thanks for all you did. I've seen you on the telly. You always look so smart. That is the musical equivalent of Che Guevara. Don't be about the bush, Lindsay. I'm gonna ask you a straight question and I want a straight answer. Right? Give me the dignity of that. Are you leaving me? Yes. Bad energy around here. Well, now. Don't what, what, what does that mean? Bad energy? What the fuck does that mean? Energy? You don't know what energy is. That is late don't 20th say century word. hokum. Don't say another word. Masquerading for spirituality. Don't, don't, don't touch me, don't touch me. That is the last time you will ever touch me. All right. Ever. No, that, all right, that is the last time you'll ever touch me. <laughs> I'm asking you really nicely. Please, please don't leave me. Oh, just fuck off. Go, go. Okay. Right, thank you, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. 
This is a low point for me, obviously. But uh, I think it was Scott Fitzgerald who said, American lives don't have second acts. Well, this is Manchester. We do things differently here. This is the second act. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One called Peter and one called Paul, just like you, loving him. Turkey lurkey. Goosey loosey, any pennies, you know what I mean? No. The history of popular music is like a double helix, okay? That's two waves that intertwine. So on one wave goes like this, the other one goes like that. So you've got two waves doing that, okay? Like one like that, one like that. Basically, when one musical movement's in the descendant, another one is in the ascendant. Right now we're in a kind of a crisscross, a kind of hiatus. But the two guys that are going to be on the crest of the next wave are Paul and Sean Ryder. This is a true incident, a bit like the hang gliding, which, remember, works on two levels. This takes place in 1980, when Sean and Paul put rat poison into some bread and fed it to 3,000 pigeons. Obviously, it's a reconstruction. No pigeons were harmed in the making of this film. Although there are those that say they're pests. Rats with wings. AKA the Hacienda. Buildings create synergy. They're a focus for creativity. When the Victorians built the railways, they didn't just put up port cabins. Jesus. They went to town. Just listen to the reverberation. It's lovely, isn't it? The sound of the sound of my voice. Buildings change the way people think. That's how it happened in Renaissance Florence. Yeah, but this isn't Renaissance Florence. This is Dark Ages Manchester. It's like a fucking abattoir. Tony. Tickets for tonight. Right. Uh oh, fucking good early now. Well, I'm sorry they're a bit late, but um thought we might use them as a souvenir or something. Yeah, that's yeah, that's all right. It's okay, but it doesn't matter. We don't you know this is gonna be the number one invitation. You know, they, they didn't hand out tickets for Sermon on the Mount. People just turned up. They knew it was a good gig. So how much has come out in total from our music budget? 700 grand. Oh, goodbye. We obviously have nothing in common. I'm a genius. You're a fucking wankers. You'll never see me again. You don't deserve to see me again. Martin? It's nice, though, isn't it? Fantastic, May the 21st, 1982, the night the Hacienda opened. Everyone wants to play. Bowie, Queen, The Stones. I chose a certain ratio because they were my band. And that was the point of the Hacienda. It was a place for people we knew, people we could trust. I can't believe this. They have totally betrayed us here. What a fucking joke. Oh, I don't know, Rob. You know, it might work. Has there ever been a Withenshaw jazz band? No, there aren't, thank fucking let, No, God. let me tell you, like, jazz is the last refuge of the untalented. Jazz musicians enjoy themselves far more than anyone listens to. It. It's like theatre. It's what you do when you can't get a gig. Hmm. It's one down from celebrity squares.
Excellent. Well done. Very good. Very so, good. So, uh, so where is everyone? Yeah. Um, we had 100 on the guest list. You at the Sex Pistols gig, how many people were in the audience? It was about 40. Right. Yeah. And it was history. Yeah, but there's only 30 here tonight. Exactly, exactly. The smaller the attendance, the bigger the history. There were 12 people at the Last Supper, half a dozen at Kitty Hawk, Archimedes was on his own in the bath. Pick on someone your own size, or maybe not. We're here at Chester Zoo to see a bath time version of David and Goliath. It's um, a bit of a mammoth task for um, a young chap like yourself. Yeah. Is, um, is this... Uh, now, this, this isn't your, your normal job, is it? No, I'm an entertainer. Right, OK. And uh, I, I, I saw there's a little baby elephant. Watch yourself there. There's a, there's a baby elephant. Hello, how do you do? <laughs> there's people like that I work with at Granada. <laughs> uh, well, like like he's a little bit more attractive. Right. This morning, I was doing a feature on an elephant being washed by a midget. It was a dwarf. It doesn't matter. Well, it matters to him. It's, I, look, I'm a serious journalist. I've got a degree. Get me a proper gig, or let's forget we ever met. Tell me, listen. Shy, shy. Hush, hush. Eyes, eyes. Watching open. Very good, very good. I'll make you a big star. Sign you up tomorrow. Congratulations. Right. Don't call me. Give me your problem. You take yourself too seriously. Yeah, yes, I do. I take myself very fucking seriously. All right, what about a feature on Northwest Tallest Man? Fuck off! How does it feel to treat me like you do when you've laid your hands upon me? Tell me who you are. I thought I was mistaken. No band ever survives the death of their lead singer. So when Joy Division became New Order, no one expected them to succeed. There's even a visual imagination of the new mock-up. It's like a floppy disk. Floppy disk. It's fucking brilliant. It's pure, it's workmanlike, it's poetic. It's expensive. Four-colour printing. Cut out gatefold. Well, it's fucking beautiful. I never count the cost of beauty. You should know that. Say what I need to say. Talk to you about these sleeves. Yeah, sure. Have you costed it? Because I have. We lose five pence on every single one of these records that we sell. We're going to sell for calls, so it doesn't matter. And I thought I told you to leave me While I walked out to the beach Tell me how does it feel When your heart... Blue Monday became the biggest selling 12-inch single ever, which made loads of money for New Order. Not that they saw any of it. Because every penny they earned was swallowed up by the debts of the Hacienda. Thank you. Bravo. Ready? Come on. Um, I'll, I'll have a Coke, please. Thank you. Coke and uh, gin and tonic. How was that? It was great. It was wonderful. Wonderful. It's great. It's just... I love it. I love it. Tuesday night. Yeah. We need to have a rethink of our strategy. You know, what, what, whatever, you know, whatever we achieve, the important thing to remember is that you... You know, you make wonderful music. There you go. Keep that. Sorry, mate. I'm Boethius, author of The Consolation of Philosophy. It's my belief that history is a wheel. Inconstancy is my very essence, says the wheel. Rise up on my spokes if you like, but don't complain when you cast back down into the depths. Good times pass away, but then so do the bad. Mutability is our tragedy, but it's also our hope. The worst of times, like the best, 
are always passing away. I know. I know. And finally, there were several sightings last night of an unidentified flying object over the little Holton district of Manchester. Apparently, the aliens flew low over the district and then disappeared, which is kind of understandable. If you're listening, spaceman, next time you might want to try Marple instead. Just don't land on my house. Good night. Fucking hell! Every great band needs its own special chemistry. And Bez was a great chemist. Can I offer anybody like the best drug experience you've no. ever had? His favorite chemical was ecstasy. I first saw them at the Battle of the Bands at the Hacienda. They came last, but I signed them anyway. All right, lads. I'm getting in the front. No, you're not. Get, in the get, the, get the gear in the back first. It's dance music, and it's rock music. It's got a kind of, uh, it's got that indie sound, that indie guitar sound, and it's got the kind of wacka wacka, wah wah thing. Yeah. It's soulful and it's rocky. It's raw. It's got the rawness of rock. And it's got this kind of soulful feel to it. Give me an example of some of your lyrics. Listen to this. Go on, say anything. Go on. Good, good, good. Good, good, double good. That is fucking horrible. Sean's lyrics on a good day are on par with WB Yates on, on an average day. I've got some I've got, I've got some sweet and sour over there you can have. Yeah. Should we do a song then? Just do it, man. Come on, Oz. No. No? We've got to go. Come on, Bez. Come on in. No, no. man. You stay here. It's the point. Why not? He has to the fucking vibe, man. I'm in the fucking band, is he? You don't want that face because the bones stick out. Oh, yes. What's up? It's a lot of tune, isn't it? Can you stop? What are you fucking stopping for? Somebody's out of tune. Can you all check your tune in? Who's out of tune? Not me. Barney's out of tune. Mark, can you give me an E? Yeah, yeah, Bez is your man, mate. He'll sort you out. Let's <laughs> <laughs> give it once an E. Yeah, that'll tune you in, Barney. Yeah, that'll take you right in, mate. The stage, Bez. Come on, Bez. What are you fucking doing? That is dance music. To me, that is dance music. Well, no one's dancing. Bez, come on, man. What are you doing, man? Shut the fucking off. Play your banjo, man. This is Bez. When he came out to the car, said I'm looking for something better. And he made me shocking out to 4,000 years ago, the Egyptians built the very first canal. The first canal in Britain was brought by the Romans, the Fosdyke in Lincoln. This is the Rochdale Canal, built in 1804 when Manchester was the greatest industrial city in the world. And their neglect knows the decline of post-war industrial Britain. Suddenly, everything came together. The music, the dancing, the drugs, the venue, the city. I was proved right. Manchester was like Renaissance Florence. Mike Pickering was right. You don't need bands in a club. Sean Ryder was right. New Order were right. 
We all came together. Everyone came to the Hacienda. It was our cathedral. Manchester, birthplace to the railways, the computer, the bouncing bomb. And tonight, something equally as epoch-making is taking place. See? They're applauding the DJ. Not the music, not the musician, not the creator, but the medium. This is it. The birth of rave culture, the beatification of the beat, the dance age. This is the moment when even the white man starts dancing. Welcome to Manchester. with me a very special new friend of mine, Mr. Peter Duff, who worked on the canals not just in this century, but can you believe it in the last one? Peter, mm -hmm. the canals. How many years ago exactly, what year was it that you started working on the canals? 1900. 1900, yeah. right. On the cusp, the cusp of a new, a new age. Mm -hmm. What do you remember about uh, the canals in those days? Very little. Very little. Yeah. Peaceful. Peaceful? Yes. I don't, think we, I don't think we're going to be able to use much of that. Do you want, I mean, the chap's barely standing. <laughs> you... Hi, Tony. Okay. Yeah, right, Tony, how's it going? Great, wonderful. Thought we'd get kids into it. So this is going to be in the Monday's video? Yeah, yeah, this is going to be it. Well, that's Brian and Michael. Yeah, I know, but they've not actually finished the single yet. The single was supposed to be done two weeks ago. Yeah, I know, but you know what he's like. He's always a bit slow, producer. Why? Who, who's producing this? Martin Hanna. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did you not know? No, I didn't know. Well, anyway, must crack on. Get these rehearsals These are done. great. The kids are great. Hello. The last time I'd seen Martin was five years earlier. The Hacienda was costing New Order £10,000 a month, and none of us had a clue what to do. You know, broccoli? Broccoli the vegetable. Yeah. That was, uh... That was uh, invented by Cubby Broccoli, the producer of the James Bond films. <laughs> little old fact. Little old fact. It's true. <coughs> it's a crossbred vegetables, half cauliflower, half what? Half uh, something, a green, half gr a, a green thing. It's half a green thing that I don't know. Half a cauliflower. And the broccoli, could be broccoli's family. Was inventing vegetables before they started making movies? That's, that was, that bankrolled the Bond film. I don't believe you, Tony. It's a, that is a fact. I don't believe you. It's a fact. Look it up, uh, Encyclopedia Where am I going to look that up? It's an absolute fact, that. <laughs> Thanks, Martin. I'm still waiting. Hi guys. Where is the mad professor? Fucking crying in there. We need to get him a tea. We can't get fuck all done. He keeps going in there. I'm still waiting. It's fucking enormous. Fucking boring. It's a mess. It's been like this all day. This is my racket's up here. Fucking Jackson. He's back in his closet. Hello, Hannah, you anchor? 
Hello, Wilson Wanker. I'm trying to get these shower of cunts that masquerade as a band to play some fucking music, which seems to be the greatest, most difficult thing I've ever had to do in my life. <laughs> Take it down, man. So, Sorry, come calm on. Calm down a lot since I last worked with you. <laughs> Martin. Fuck off! You can't threaten me anymore, Martin. You're a big man, but you're out of shape. Although you could sit on me. I've got something for you. Tony, sir Anthony, sir, can I interest you in some Charleston's work? Um, no, I think cocaine's a suits drug. It's a destroyer of talent, so thank you. Oh, really? We haven't got any fucking talent. No, oh, chop That's why it's fine for you Come to on, use it. Come on, Tony! You're a very good person, sir. One of us! Never judge a book by its cover, Mr. Marcy. You've got a very nice cover, by the way. First edition, very collectible. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, love. All right. This is Yvette. She's actually Miss United Kingdom, but that's not what attracted me to her. They do things like stars on the rise, um, uh -huh. interiors of Coronation Street are all in there. Hello, love. You all right? Hi, Tony. Nice to and you, as ever. And what do you do? How do you mean? But, you know, your job here. Well, I'm, I'm Tony Wilson. It's a bit chilly. Pop this, have this. Pop that on. Well, thank you. you. And keep it. Cashmere. You sure? Yeah, of course. Thank you very Least much. Least I can do for Miss UK. I haven't <laughs> got a tiara, so you'll have to make do with that, sweetheart. Great. So, I mean, Granada really is just sort of my hobby. Um, my proper job. Have you heard of the Happy Mondays? Yeah, I love them. I look after them. Factory really? records. Yeah. That's my, my label. Uh, new order? Yeah. There, there. there you go. Sometimes even the Hacienda. Do you know Hacienda? Fantastic, yeah. I own that night. Really? Yeah, so if you ever want reduced admission, come and see me. Better still, you get in free if you escort me. <laughs> I'm flirting, aren't I? You are, yes. Is that obvious? <laughs> Don't judge. Piety is a very unattractive quality. Flirting is a very natural process. She's aware of it. I'm being postmodern before it was fashionable. <laughs> Being at the Hacienda was like being at the French Revolution. Bliss it was that dawn to be alive, but to be young was very heaven. 
Okay, so I was nearly 40, which isn't really young. But these days, it isn't that old either. And Yvette said the age difference didn't bother her. And by the way, we're still together. So whatever you're thinking, you're wrong. Do you know I think that Sean Ryder is on par with WB Yeats as a, as a poet? Really? Um, absolutely. Totally. Well, that is amazing, considering everyone else thinks he's a fucking idiot. Sean, where the fuck are you, Sean? We can't do anything without the fucking singer, Listen, can we? Listen, what do you fuckers is going to have to do it? Get busy, busy, man. man. I'll sing. Awesome, man. Step in, mate. Come on, you're gonna have to do it. All right, I'll do it. Won't be no misfit in my house all today. Pick him all up and send him on his way. Do what you're doing. Say what you're saying. Go where you're going. Think what you think. Sounds good to me. Factory believes in artistic freedom, and Sean is an artist, but he's also an addict. So I knew even then that choosing Nathan as the new manager of the Mondays was not necessarily a good idea. Yeah, Nathan, Nathan's going to be our new manager. I'm going to look after them. He does it very well. But I wanted Sean to be happy, so I indulged him. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my God, you're not that out of it, are you? I'm not a lump of hash. I'm in charge of Bantery Records, I think. The living legends, here we go! It's an adventure. It's an adventure. It's a magical mystery tour. It's, it's a Mary Frankston. Yeah, it's, it's like Scooby Doo, isn't it? Because they like they had a bust, didn't they? It is a little bit like Scooby Doo. <laughs> Manchester became the centre of the universe. The best drugs, the best clothes, the best women, the best music, the best bands, the best club. Suddenly, everyone wanted to be from Manchester. And if you were a mank. Everyone wanted a part of you. <laughs> so, so, coming back for the boss, mate. Come on. Um, so, 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 I've eaten, mate. Hey? You're looking for a beautiful one. He owns the hacienda. I'm the big guy. He's the big guy. He's the big boss. Yeah. Well, you know, metaphorically speaking. Yeah. It was like being on a fantastic fairground ride. Centrifugal forces throwing us wider and wider. And it's all right because there's this brilliant machine at the centre that's going to bring us back down to earth. That was Manchester. That is the hacienda. Now imagine the machine breaks. For a while it's even better because you're really flying. But then you're fucked. Because nobody beats gravity. Come back! What are you doing here? I thought you were in glamorous fucking London. I went to interview with Keith Joseph. It's very important. He likes to be called Sir Keith. He's nice, it's very important to him. We call him the Mad Monk. Right. That's important at the end of the story. I was supposed to get the train, right? But I didn't. I drove. Okay? So I'm driving along, driving really well, uh, and I end up on this fucking Pennine. There you go. My mobile phone. You know how to work, one? Yeah, yeah. I've used them before. And I make a phone call on this mobile phone oh. thing. It's like listening to a fucking headache. Whoa. And then I was walking along a railway line and train goes going past. And I climbed onto the train. Whoa, whoa, you can't come in here, son. No, no, no. I, 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 I'm sorry, do you know who I am? I don't even go in here, don't know who he is. <laughs> oh, the king. Go on, son. Sorry, go on. Anyway, it was meant to be. Comes the hour, comes the man. God, fate, 
I've had conspired to transport me to London because I was going to bring down the government. All right, I was late, but it didn't matter because I had dynamite in my pocket. I knew what I was going to do. I had it all planned. I was going to be nice as pie to him, call him Sir Keith, ask him about the latest government policy initiative, and he was going to fall apart. Bye. Please, sir, my humble apologies. I'm Anthony, by the way. Anne? Sorry. Uh, medieval rather than classical. Yes, Anthony of P Padua. Uh, that's who I'm named after. Saint Anthony. Mm -hmm. uh, Saint Anthony. Uh, he was a monk, funnily enough. Funny? In what way, funny? Well, you know, Brother Keith. You must know. Brother. <laughs> I'm not a trade unionist, Mr. Wilson. No, no. No, but you know, the whole monk thing. <sighs> the mad monk. That's, that's what they call you, isn't it? When I mean, you are a mad bastard. Did I say that out loud? <sighs> you know you're true, Tony. You don't know what you are. I fucking know what you are, but you don't know what you are. Well, my curiosity's got the better of me, Rob. Tell me, what am I? You're a cunt. <laughs> well, you see, I, I knew that, you see. That was something I did know. Timing is everything. When we built the Hacienda, it was too soon. When we built the factory office, it was too late. It did, however, have a zinc roof, which was very, very cool even though you could only see it if you were in a helicopter. The last factory has a proper office. It's MDF. It's made of MDF. <laughs> what are all these about? How much was it? It's not the materials, OK? It's That's the design. Brilliant. You're paying for design. Oh, I didn't ask about this. It's brilliant how much it was. It's 30 grand. But, uh, Did you pick the shape? It was what? No, the shape. The shape is some. The shape is something that. <laughs> the, the point is, if you go to any <laughs> London, <laughs> if you go to any London <laughs> record company. Should we not? Should we let go of him and should we not no, fucking do that? Fucking terrible. Right, yeah, fine. No, it's all right. It's all right. You okay? Yeah, no, no, I'm absolutely fine. Okay. No, I'm all right. Come on, Rob. I'm like three grand for a fucking table. You stop! Will you stop? God's sake! There was only one problem with the hacienda. It never made any money. There were huge crowds and a great atmosphere, but it was all fueled by ecstasy, not alcohol. And we didn't sell E at the bar, although we did talk about it. So we were spending money on the building, the staff, the DJs, the sound system, but most of the money went to the drug dealers. And guess what? They didn't give the money to us. They spent it on clothes, or cars, or restaurants, or houses, or girls, or guns. Especially guns. Drug dealers are like any other businessman. They like to increase their market share. Oh, you little fucking bitch! Oh, your mama gives you this! Only suppliers don't tend to undercut each other on prices, they just try and get rid of the competition. <laughs> Soon the violence spread to the Hacienda. Everybody pays, even young members! Give him a Everybody pays! Now, this is bad in itself, but it's also bad for business. And when you know someone's carrying a gun, it's hard to turn them away. So pretty soon, there's shootings inside the club as well as on the door. If you've got a lot of drugs and guns in your club, you're going to get shut down. So you have to try and control it. 
I took advice from Plutarch's Life of Caesar, where it says, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. The problem is often the solution in a different set of clothes. In this case, we gave the drug dealers the doorman's uniform. So now we didn't control the door or the drugs. And you as well, love. Come on. I'm oh, it's not on. your suit no, tonight, come on, mate. It's not your suit. Come on. Please. Please. Fucking wages, mate. You want to Just fucking do one. How much money we have According to William Blake, the road of excess leads to the Palace of Wisdom. I was on my way there in a jam. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Beautiful. Trolls! I used to have trolls when I was little. That's what they are, isn't it? Do yeah. you still call them trolls? Yeah. I've got you a mobile phone. Thanks. Mum, Mummy's got a phone, and I've got one too. See, so it's like a... It's like tin cans with string. Remember, remember when we made tin cans with string? Yeah. Yeah? Talk down the end of it. Got to go to Martin Hannett's funeral. Who? Martin Hannett had a heart attack. OK. I should have found time to tell you earlier, I did have children with my second wife, Hilary. And there was a time when I was with Lindsay when that was all I wanted. And no, I've not been the best father in the world. Yes, I could have been there more than I have. And obviously, I've got regrets about that. But this is not a film about me. I am not Prince Hamlet, nor was meant to be. I'm a minor character in my own story. This is a film about the music and the people who made the music. Ian Curtis, Sean Ryder, and Martin Hannett. Take your time, gentlemen. It's very heavy. This coffin's not going to go down. So we're going to leave it on top. Yes, okay, we'll leave it on top. top. I need yeah. the sets in your hair now. Okay, gentlemen. Gentlemen, leave the straps, please. Thank you very much. Death puts things in perspective. We're all equal in the grave. Except Martin, obviously, who's a huge character. So huge, his coffin wouldn't fit in his grave. I remember thinking, Martin Hannett, too big for death. Strengthen the hope of resurrection in those whose bodies are subject to decay. We've been running on empty for months. We survived by shuffling cash from the club to the record company and back again. Sony. How are you doing? Good, good. What can I get you? No, I'm right, thanks. You know, we do have to, to restock the, uh, the bar occasionally. Mm. I want to pass that on to your... Uh, mm. So the guys? Yeah, yeah. I also think of having a temperance night. I'll see you next week then. We had to make some money, so we had to release records. We order want to record another album. Thank Christ for that. We don't have Why Why Ibiza? Why not have Ibiza? It's going to be monsoon season by the time well, we get it's, it's sunny, actually. Not all the time. New Order went off to Ibiza and took two fucking years to make the album. The Mondays want to make another album. That's fantastic news. And the great thing is we can do it in Manchester. You know, Sean's had a bit of trouble with... Uh, yeah. ...like heroin recently. Yeah? I've tried to get him off the smack and onto the methadone, but now he's doing both. Both barrels. So I've been reading about this place where there isn't any. It's an island. Wouldn't be the Isle of Man, would it? No, Tony. Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan had supplied enough methadone to keep Sean going for four weeks. That's how long they were supposed to stay in Barbados. Oh, you fucking wanker! Shut up! 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 Shut up
Just keep coming out your way, you fucking... It was just bad luck that the methadone didn't even make it onto the plane. Nathan! Nathan! There was no heroin on the island, but there was plenty of crack. Every week, we sent over all the cash we had to pay for the studio, and Nathan used it for drugs instead. When the cash ran out, they stole the recording gear, then they stole the furniture, and then they sold the clothes. I was stranded on a desert island with no shelter nor companionship. Every day I kept watch for rescue, but no one came. My only distraction was to write lyrics for my forthcoming album. But then I thought, why the fuck should I? Very good, very good. So Nathan, the tape, the music, where is it? Sean's kidnapped her. Come again. Sean's kidnapped the tape. <laughs> we spent two hundred thousand pounds on that recording. Yeah, yeah. At, at least. I know. That's before we've mixed it. And now Sean wants you to buy it off. Wait, wait, wait! No, wait! It's a fucking kid. Let's calm down. How do we buy it off him? He wants you to meet him tomorrow. Dry bar, 10 o'clock. This is your fucking fault for letting them go out there in the first place. Why is it my place. fault? Well, don't, you know. But what if he, what if he asks for, like, a hundred grand? If he says hundred grand, he won't back down. If we mention a figure, we'll, we'll be all right. He just all wants right, a gesture. So he just wants a gesture. Right. Right, mate? Yeah, he did. Really ought to be careful with that, Sean. You could, you could take someone's eye out. Have you a new toy, mate? I have, yeah. Are you man enough for that? It's great to see you. You too, yeah. It's great to see you, despite that incident. Um, yeah. Right, I've got... I'm gonna make you offer. Glad you came. In my wallet, the sum total in my wallet is, if I'm not mistaken, 40. That's 50 quid, that's all I've got. Nice, Tom. There you go. Yeah. Master tapes and that's... Thanks very much. Pleasure doing business. Dad away. Seven years bad luck, huh? I know. Fuck Come off. on, fucking get out of here. <laughs> Don't talk to any strange men. <laughs> 50 pounds. So, you won't get that in the January sales. I have in my hand a dance. Which my beautiful assistant Yvette is going to put on. The Mondays. It's here. It's here. Oh, it was fucking awful. It's so it was a fucking nightmare. It's so a nightmare. Thank you, buddy. At least there's something on the fucking thing, isn't it? Oh, if that's so so. It's good. It's got a good groove. One of the vocals is going to kick in on it. Let's break. There's no fucking vocals on it, is there? Apparently not. Does that mean you'll have to go back into the studio? No, 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 and Ooh, then we'll share in the whole share the Lot, lot, this is the Mondays, lots of people. Who? Who's going to pay for that? A number of people. Principal, principal at London Records. Or... What's wrong with London Records? The name for a sad. Oh, it's just a fucking name, Rob. 
You've dropped a bollock, haven't you? Yeah, I've dropped a bollock. Yeah. Yes, I've... All right, yeah, I don't... You've dropped I, one massive bollock. Yes, I've dropped a big fucking massive hairy bollock. Wheel of Fortune. With Anthony Wilson and Terry Seymour. Welcome to the Wheel of Fortune. There it is, the wheel that throughout the centuries has been used as a symbol for the vicissitudes of life. Beefius himself and his great work The Constellation of Philosophy compares history to a great wheel, hoisting us up, then dropping us down again. Inconsistency is my very essence, says the wheel. Raise yourself up on my spokes if you wish, but don't complain when you're plunged back down. And spin the wheel. Mm. What a load of bullshit. Okay, we'll remove that letter, just go straight from Wheel of Fortune, cut to spin the wheel. Good and the guy over there playing the director, that's the real Tony Wilson, okay? The real me. And there's plenty of other real people in the film. There's Paul Ryder. Tony. How are you doing? Good. Marky yeah, Smith from The Fall. What are you doing? You'd be opening this club or what? Manny from The Stone Roses. Right, where's Sean? In Spiral Carpets, what's his name? Clint Boone. Come with the table there. Mike Pickering. Dave Haslam. And uh, Vinnie Riley. Although, this scene didn't actually make it to the final cut. I'm sure it'll be on the DVD. I'm a security now, Tom. The repossession. That's where the money is. You're still keeping the club going, are you? Oh, yeah. You got to. Boys! So, yeah. Yeah? It's the old Joy Division song with a soul slant. <laughs> yeah. I know what it is. Yeah. Got a big repossession number next week, next Tuesday. Massive. Quick with Sue. That's the end of it. I'm saying fuck all. Yeah. Can you tell them I've had enough? Yeah, whoa. Thanks. Great. Well done, lads. Fantastic. I'll, I'll call you. What's the track <laughs> with this spread? This is sophisticated food for so Londoners. For Londoners. For Londoners. Sorry. It's, it's stuffed vine leaves. They're very nice. It's good vine leaves. Broaden your horizons. So it's fucking okay. southern food. Right. Hello. Hello. Roger. Is it Roger? Oh, shit. Hey, very pleased to meet you. Terry. Terry, Terry yeah. Nice to meet you, Terry. Okay, to um, see you, man. Thank you. Who's the guy? Roger Ames, London Records. How you doing? Okay? No, that's, that's Roger. No, All right. Roger. What are you doing? It's brilliant. Oh, and um, if you don't mind me saying, what a table. <laughs> <laughs> and there's food on it, too, if you Thank like you to have it. Thank you very much, indeed. Yeah, I fucking eat, you, though. It's rabbit food, man. Yeah. I mean, you we are, like shagging uh, like him, but we don't want to fucking eat cheese. like him, do we? <laughs> if music be the food of deals, why don't, so we, um, why don't we eat that? Absolutely, you're there. Not down his honour, do be honest. Terry. Have you met Tony? It's yeah, Terry. So we have a tunnel. <laughs> okay, fine. What's the tune called? Nice to meet you. And Zulu. Fantastic. We're going to do a cover of Silence is Golden. <laughs> <laughs> Terry. 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 That's fun, but this is, this is, that, oh, play I, was, some art I was really into that. No. No, play some art. That was this, hey, Alex. Come Very on, funny. play the fucking You hear the chorus. vocals, Roger, when we hear the offer. The That's the way we do things here at Factory. Sean, where are you going? I'm not eating fucking bunny rabbit food. I'm going for the Kentucky. Yeah. So, you you come in? We'll get you Kentucky. Okay. See you later, Tom. Yvette, all right, mate. See you later. We'll go and get our own. Do you want to go? All right. So, Tony, why, um, why don't we listen to the tune while they're out? Um... Hey, Tony, come on. I do understand that Sean can be, uh, a little bit of a handful. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a genius, though. Yeah, you're right. He is a genius. And I've got to say, if I owned a record label, and I had signed Sean to it, then I would not be selling him on for a fee. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm going to make you an offer. Can I lean on this? <laughs> um, yes, you've got to be... Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to make you an offer for the whole company. OK. Five million. What do you want for that? What do I want? Yeah. I want everything. I want everything. I want the back catalogue. I want it all. I want this table. I want this food. I want these windows. I want it all. OK. You want the factory? <coughs> Quite right. OK. Right. We're very, very flattered, Roger. Terribly flattered that you think we're worth such a oh, princely mean, sum. However, just... it, what, you're, what I have to explain to you is that factory records are not actually a company. We are an experiment in human nature. You're, you're labouring under the misapprehension that we actually have a deal with, uh, with our, our bands, that we have any kind of a contract uh, at all. And I'm afraid we, uh, we don't. Because that's, uh, that, that's the sum total of the paperwork to do with Factory Records' deal with uh, their various bands. The artists own all their own work. The label owns nothing. Our bands have the freedom. To fuck off. Oh, yeah, qu quite right. The freedom to fuck off. <coughs> <laughs> I don't have to deal with you at all. Correct. But my epitaph will be that I never literally nor metaphorically sold out. I protect myself from ever having to have the dilemma of having to sell out by having nothing to sell out. <clears throat> Tony, you're fucking mad. That's a point of view. Most of all, I love Manchester. The crumbling warehouses, the railway arches, the cheap, abundant drugs. That's what did in the end. Not the money, not the music, not even the guns. That is my heroic flaw, my excess of civic pride. Brian! Tony Wilson, is it true that the Hacienda is closing down? Yes, it is. And how does it feel now that it's fucked up in your face? Glorious. <laughs> Glorious. The Hacienda is dead. It will never grow. Unlike your good self, Tony. I feel like a big dandelion cock. What? Clock. Clock. Cock or pot. No matter. Whose seed is catching the wind, it's going to fly off. Land take root and spawn dozens, thousands of little baby dandelions, like the biggest ever fork. Oh. Now she wants one, so I've got to go. Oh. Oh. I've got the horn, Ryan. I've got the horn. Tony. Right, well. Tony. Come on, mate. Come on. Right, let's see. Vinny. All right, mate. Morning. OK, love. Well.
you, you, you couldn't just give us 10 minutes, could you? Okay, now. Come on, I'm full of flu. Just, t just 10. Good. I'm really sorry about what happens, you know what I mean? It just fucking. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it, mate. It's just, you know. This is fucking great. This is, this is brilliant stuff. Yeah, Sean brought it back from Barbados. Well done, Sean. I'll mention so, it. So it wasn't a complete waste of time then? Oh no, it was a great time what I can remember, you know what I mean? Tony, you did a good job. Basically, you were right. Sean is the greatest poet since Yates. This is amazing! Can I have it in writing? It is already written in the sinews of history and the hearts of men. It's a pity you didn't sign the Smiths, but you were right about Mick Hucknall. His music's rubbish and he's a ginger. Vinnie Riley, by the way, is way overdue a revival. You might think about the greatest hits. It's a good idea. It's good music to chill out to. Yeah, you're right. I usually am. Are you all right there, Tony? Yeah, I've just seen God. You did what? I've just seen God. Did you? Yeah. What did he look like? He looked like me. How do you mean? He was the double of me. Well, it's written in the Bible, isn't it? God made man in his own image. Yeah, but not any specific man. No, but... If you'd have spoken to him, it would have looked like you. But you didn't. I did. And he looked like me. It's fucking top gear, man.
Oh. 